Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to create this uh, medical report icon using CSS shapes. So let's get started. Uh, now first I'm going to create the diff elements that correspond to the different shapes. And it's actually a very easy tutorial, so there isn't much to it. Okay, so these are all the classes we'll be using. And so let's start styling these uh, diffs. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna create this corner element and in order to do that, uh, let's actually create the corner first and we'll see it. So now we're going to position this at the bottom, the right bottom. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the corner before element to create a... We're going to cut this part here and we're going to give it the color of the clipboard which is this color here. So let me actually show it to you. Okay, so uh, 
we're gonna move it to the right and then we're gonna rotate it <clears throat> actually we're gonna move it to the bottom left part So starting from this corner, the bottom left corner, we're gonna rotate it. Uh, actually, move it here. Huh. Okay. That's all. We're gonna rotate 45 degrees. Okay, and we're actually gonna give it a uh, border radius so it doesn't stick out of the of the clipboard. <coughs> okay, and now I think all that is left to do is we need to give it the same color as the clipboard. So this is the color of the clipboard and instead of red. Okay, and we're done with the corner. Now let's create the logo. Now for the background we're gonna give it a a linear gradient background so 50% is this color and 50% is this color Oh, okay. This should be... Wait. Oh, that, that should be pixels here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, and border radius 50%. And we need to position it in the middle. And now the gradient should be vertical. So, I mean, should be from left to right. So here for the linear gradient, we'll give it 90 degrees. And there we have it. Okay, now we're gonna create this cross and we'll be using the logo before and after uh, pseudo elements. the same for the after so I'll just copy this thing and change this to after now here the hit the height will be 65 
and the width will be 20. Okay, that's all we need to do. Now let's create these uh, three lines here under the logo. Now we're going to use these additional classes to position them. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is we need to create this uh, metal part. Of the clipboard and for this one we're also going to be using the linear gradient but this time it will be a horizontal linear gradient so top to bottom <coughs> it's on top and also a border radius okay and let's center it and for this circle we'll be using the before pseudo element Now the background will be the background of the uh, clipboard. So, I mean the container, the background of the container. Actually, the border will be 15 pixels. Okay, and let's put it on top. So, <clears throat> the only thing that you need to remember, guys, is if you change the background of the of the circle, you also need to change the background of the metal before pseudo element so this background should be the same as the the one of the of the clipboard I mean the container the one of the container and there we have it this is our medical report and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial